bless with my viewers who welcome back to the channel watch like share and subscribe football player man football playing man swept away in the hurricane burial remains a search was launched on wednesday for a man who was swept away in a gully in arnett gardens kingston known as Havana. the man who is a 20 year old man is known as lala reportedly washed away in flooded waters this afternoon during rains associated with the category for hurricane burial the news has learned that while playing football on wednesday the man attempted to retrieve the ball from the gully and was swept away people attempted to rescue him and prevent him from being washed away while others ran along the side of the gully however they were unsuccessful members of the jamaica fire brigade and the jamaica defense force have started a search for the young man yeah man my viewers and my subscribers we know something like this was going to happen eventually because we jamaicans don't listen at least one disease as jamaica shift to assessment mode post burial as Jamaica and the country's government transition into assessment mode following the passage of Hurricane Beryl, on Wednesday at least one woman has died and the search continued Thursday for a man who was swept away by flooded waters. Unfortunately, we have had reports of a woman losing her life in Anova and a man in Arnett Garden in St. Andrew was washed away his status is unconfirmed we agree for the family affected information minister senator dr dana morris dixon on thursday the information minister said the government is aware that the hurricane has caused significant dislocation and damage in some parishes impartially the south section of the island which includes saint elizabeth clarendon and manchester there are also reports of damage to properties and road network across the section of the island where some roads are impossible. Preliminary reports are that some people have had their roof blown off and up to early this morning there were concerned family members who were unable to get in touch with their relatives on the south coast in particular likely due to the challenges associated with the mobile network. I want to say to those people who suffered major damages that the government of Jamaica is aware of your plea and we have transited 